Okay, set up just a little bit more. I went and just grabbed my 80 grit sandpaper, put a fresh piece of paper on my block. That's all the longer I've been away from this repair. So you want to take it out. You can see the sand scratch is starting to go away from the 36. So you'll learn this more and more as you do it. You'll want to leave it a little high with the 36 because even though you're pretty much just sanding to remove those 36 grit scratches, you are removing some filler. So that's the most common mistake with people that are fresh to do in body work and filler repairs is they over sand it. You want, a, you want a uniform nice curve this way to fit the factory shape and you don't want no humps or low spots through here. And I got really, really lucky on this repair. Again, I took time to do the welding and the grinding and the panel fit. So it's really, really thin. You can see the metal starting to cut through in different little places. So I'm not going to have to smear any filler on there. Again, I'm going to switch to the poly filler. That's a thinner, sands easier, and I'll start that with 80 to fill some of these rough scratches up. Um, don't feel bad if you don't get the filler spread in the first time because... It hardly ever happens. This is just a little small repair. It, body work in the side of this cab, I might spend a day, two days, four days, whatever, to get this sanded flat. You hardly ever get it in. The okay, so I'm getting ready to put more on it. It doesn't matter again if I'm putting the same type of filler over this, you want to blow it off. You can see all the dust coming out of it. See the imperfections that I blew the dirt out? Those slightly different colors that you can see from there is a little bit of a low spot, but we'll get that with the glaze. So I'll make sure it's blown off good. And we'll go mix some other filler. So we're gonna put on for the final filler is what some people call poly putty or glaze coat. It's just simply uh, thinner bodied, easier to sand filler. You would not want to fix any dings or dents with this because it is one way more money and it's not as heavy bodied. So you just squeeze a little bit of that out. Same way, need your hardener. Put a little bit. Same way, mix it. You can see that it starts changing color immediately because you're mixing the hardener. Make sure it's all one color. Here and what this is, your shaping and stuff is pretty much all done. And you can see if I drag the scraper over it, you can see that basically all we're doing is we're filling that rougher sand scratch. Put it on a little thicker and we'll just 80 it down and actually the primer that we use is a Clawson heavy bodied polyester primer that we stop the filler sanding at 80 grit because it's such a heavy bodied primer that if you would sand this filler out to 320 or whatever um, and you have scratches to fill They say that that body is so heavy primer that the little globules of the primer might lay over your sand scratch and will not show up until stuff expands and stuff out in the sun the first time. So we make sure it's smooth and consistent to 80 grit and then we prime from there, but that'll be another video. So we'll kind of put this on and go and Turn it around both directions to make sure you're getting it in that sand scratch. Little piece of something on my spreader. 
and I'll go clean this off and be right back to sand that. So, okay, we're letting this filler set up a little bit harder than the other stuff. I'm getting it on wet like I did before. Most all the shaping is done. We're just filling sand scratches at this point. And this stuff sands a lot easier. You can also see it's a lot dustier also. And I'm still getting on it a little bit sooner than a lot of people would probably do. You see it's still gumming up the paper a little bit. But I will switch over to fresh paper here as I get it kind of knocked down. So I only switched to a different block. It just happens to be a longer block just because that's what I had handy. A little fresher paper on it. The longer block works good because you're using this little block, you're sanding there, and you're not cutting across this whole area, and this block is. You can see it's a good idea how dusty it is. Again, you're supposed to be wearing a mask, but I'm not, so I can talk to you guys on this repair. Sanded it down, it feels really nice. Blow it off, make sure no pinholes show up. A couple of little spots, hit it again with the paper. And the next time you see us, we'll be putting some Z-Glass Clawson Poly Putty on there.